series of the days we got different sessions. Colin is certainly, uh, and we I've concentrated in this part of the Murray Basin and then not like in the Murray Basin. Colin, a lot of his work is concentrated on the on the Grain Artesian Basin and they form both part of the Murray Darling Basin. Um, and the other thing, you know, in the sessions that you will observe, that Colin will be doing a lot on the rigorous approach to our groundwater hydraulics, the physical side, and what I'll be doing is some of the applications and on the chemical side and so on. So we're trying to give you, in this introductory course, a general sort of balance. So we start off on the, uh, on the importance of groundwater. And, uh, well, it doesn't matter whether it's groundwater or surface water, it's fundamental for life. I, I actually, as I just walked down there, you know, and just, uh, you see the Murray River and just uh, flowing a gently past and brimful of water at the moment, and you realise that very where we are is dependent be, and here because there's water. And so it is fundamental for all life. It's a universal solvent and it's basic for all goods and agricultural products and for recreation. And groundwater is just a part of that, you know, whether it be the surface water or groundwater. And all fresh water, get an idea of the scale of things here, you know, with all fresh water in the world, and I'm looking at the world scale, then you've got, uh, you know, fresh groundwater is a very large part of this pipe. Of, uh, and a lot of the water is locked up in glaciers. What's actually in fresh water in streams and lakes, the things you can see, is just a very small amount right? in terms of fresh water. We've just got 0.38% right? It's actually in rivers and streams. For example, you know, the state where I come from, in uh, Victoria, the amount of groundwater is, yeah, a lot of it's in storage, moving very slow, you've got low flows, but you've got more than a thousand times more water in groundwater than you have in all the streams and dams and lakes and so on of the state. Well, how important is groundwater? There's some basic points to be explored. Groundwater is large and overall is renewable. It's hidden. It certainly varies with uh, the geology, and that and makes it a good case for actually you know, uh, something about geology because we're trying to work out about the occurrence of things. Technology is certainly helping in locating it, and groundwater has numerous roles, and we're going to explore that in this session. But it's, and the final point is that it's vulnerable, and we'll, and we'll look at each of these things now in, in some sort of detail. <clears throat> so the roles of groundwater, we'll go through each of these, right? But, and, and so, but it's certainly, it's, uh, it's a resource, it's a buffer against drought. Unfortunately, people don't always plan, but when they're putting down pores for groundwater, they certainly, you know, from when I was in the administrative system, when it came to drought, they'd apply in large numbers to do something. Everyone's sort of, a, you know, there's a case for planning ahead, but there's a, it's certainly a buffer against strength. Things get dry, then they want to put in the book. But geothermal energy, energy becoming very important now, the cost of that and, and so on. So geothermal energy, a lot of the deeper groundwater is hot. Well, that's, uh, you can use that. Groundwater dependent ecosystems, a lot of the environment, which is getting a very high value, is dependent on groundwater. And to some degree, when you go back into the Mallee area, you can actually tell that the depth of the groundwater and salinity by the type of vegetation that's growing. You get so ocean around the trees and so on. You know, there's more work being done on that. Maintaining stream flows. A lot of all the perennial streams that flow in the mountains and so on, they're all flowing because of, and keep flowing because of groundwater coming in. For Melbourne, where I come from, the river is, uh, you know, for the Yarra and so on. Um, well, the, the people originally working on surface water, they just said, what's well, your surface water? We haven't got any groundwater. 
as it turns out, 80% of the